alaikum uh, as introduced by my good friend mr noor i think we have been uh, providing the industry information about uh, the pharma pharmaceutical in pakistan not only pakistan we operate throughout the world uh, iqvia has been in the world for the last so many years more than 50 years now we operate in all over the world which means 110 countries and uh, <clears throat> I can see this initiative that has been taken by ICAP, I think this is one of the uh, initiatives that is due. The pharma industry is growing, there are areas of opportunity, there are areas of challenges. So in one hour's time, uh, maybe I can uh, give you a very good idea of what the industry is, try to provide the information that I'm, I can see lots of people who are already working in the pharma industry. So that's a very good sign. I would also like them to uh, really share their ideas and if there's anything they would like to ask should we keep it uh, any time during the session the questions or should it be in the last okay we'll have five minutes of a uh, question uh, time after the session right okay starting with the industry Pakistan is uh, one of the countries where the pharmaceutical is growing very fast uh, the growth the global growth of pharmaceutical is single digit. The world market is about one trillion dollar and uh, growing at only four five percent. This the CAGR, the CAGR, the world market is hardly three four percent. But when you will see Pakistan, we are different. And uh, why we are different, what is making this difference, we'll talk about that. So starting with the first slide that I want you to understand. Okay. Let's go to this one. This is basically the slide which shows how the market is placed today. We are a 3 billion retail market. Now, this is only retail market. This $3 billion does not include the tender business, the exports. Our tender business are around 10 to 15 percent uh, in addition to what I'm showing of 3 billion. And the exports of Pakistan, they are varying between 100 to 200 million only which is a big opportunity for us. I mean, if you talk about uh, other countries like India, uh, they are exporting nearly $20 billion. Indian market is around $20 billion, maybe slightly less. And they are equally uh, good in terms of exports. But look at our <coughs> market size being a $3 billion industry. We are uh, only, and this is retail market again, right? The, we are only exporting, say, 100 to 200 million. So it's a big opportunity. And uh, probably the government, the pharma industry, we can all join together to play this role. We had a pharma summit only last week, and there was a lot of positive discussion about how to really make a difference in this area. When we talk about the rupee market, we are a 454 billion rupee market. And the growth is 15.6%. If you ask me, there will be probably only five, six countries in the world, in the world, which will be growing at this pace. Most of the countries, if you talk about Europe, they are all single digit. Talk about the biggest market in the world, the US, they are also single digit. In Asia Pacific, yes, there are growing economies. There are countries which are doing well. Pakistan is one of those. When we talk about the last four or five years, our CAGR is 12.85, but let me tell you, this, the, I mean, I'm talking about the positive side of the uh, industry, but uh, in the last two or three years, the market has slowed down. There have been some of the years when we had single digit growth in the industry. Uh, there were lots of reasons for it. Uh, I can't discuss all the reasons, but let me tell you that. Uh, in terms of the CAGR, it used to be around 16-17%. Now it has come down to 12.85. In US dollars, we, the growth of the market is minus 6.55. The reason for this is basically the devolution that we all knew, we all know in fact, uh, happened last year. Takriban 31% ka, excuse me, a devolution in one year's time, which probably we had never seen, seen before. 
the impact of that has happened everywhere. Uh, the inflation has gone up and the farmer industry in unit terms, uh, in value terms, has uh, in fact our forecast for uh, 2019 was that the Pakistan industry will be 3.6, 3.7 billion dollars. But it never happened because of the devaluation. We are still struggling around 3 billion. In fact, we have shrunk, we have shrunk, I will show you the slides. Uh, because of devaluation. Globally, we were number 31 in the world in terms of ranking uh, within the pharma industry. US was the biggest market, then comes uh, China, followed by uh, Germany, France. Uh, we were number 31. With the devaluation, we have come down by three to four places to 34, 35. But the good thing about our market is that we are one of the big markets in terms of units. Itni yaha par the population growth hai, jitni yaha diseases hain, chahe wo aap and infection dekhein ya baat karein hypertension ki, cardiovascular diseases ki. Ye sari diseases ki baya se Pakistan jo market hai, it is number 11 in the world in terms of units. So this disparity of 35 in value and 11 in units shows that we are low priced. There have been a lot of allegations, a lot of fingers being pointed towards the industry. Uh, let me tell you, we are still one of the most, uh, I would say, low priced nation in the world in terms of pharmaceutical pricing. In spite of the fact that you are looking at media, Thanks to the media, thanks to, uh, uh, the, the, I mean, I would say, some other agencies who have been shouting against it. There has been no uniform policy of pricing in Pakistan for so many years. Uh, the only time we got a price increase was in 2001, when the industry got a slight price increase across the board. Then we had price increases every year for one reason or the other, it was, but only a very minimum a nominal price increase. The main price increase came in this year. Abhi, 19 ki mein baat kar raho. 2019, jiske se, the market has grown to 15.68%. But I will show you in the next slide uh, that the price increase does not help the market. When you go for a price increase, uh, there is uh, up to a certain limit that the market can really uh, absorb it. The buying power of the Patients definitely have an impact on it. And in the end, if the price increases are more, then the market does not grow. Or something like the same has happened. Because this year, the government has given, after a big gap, 15% price increase across the board. There were some other price increases also. But what happened in this way? In value, we look very good. In fact, we have grown uh, one of the highest uh, for quite a number of years. But in units, we are struggling. And the real growth of any pharma industry, any pharma, uh, any country, is the unit growth, which is the most important. If there is no unit growth or value growth, hai, that is very alarming. So uh, we are a three dollar, a three billion dollar uh, industry. Our growth in US dollars is minus, and uh, there are lots of companies now in Pakistan. Uh, which are very big companies, the top 13 corporates are uh, having 53.9% share. Now you can see all these are more than 10 billion rupees. GSK is the biggest company with 32 billion. GSK Pharma, if you add the consumer, it will be much bigger. 45 billion plus. Uh, Pakistani company, Gas Pharma, is the biggest company. <coughs> Excuse me, let me have some water, please. <coughs> uh, so, when we talk about so when we talk about the biggest company on the national area, Gets has been the number one company for quite a number of years. In spite of the fact that there have been mergers and acquisitions. In Pakistan, we have seen companies merging. Gets has stood alone 
over the years and they have been number one and in terms of exports they are the biggest exporter humne maine baat ki thi 200 million dollar ki ya 150 million dollar pakistan ki exports hai usme se majority of the exports gets pharma ki around maybe more than 60 70% baaki companies they are trying there are other companies but as i as i said potentially we should export something around 3 billion dollars but that has not happened and uh, there are measures being taken by the government we from iqvia because we are a global entity uh, we have offered uh, the government the pharma industry that whatever we can role we can play uh, and we have uh, the potential to play a role uh, we want this industry to really grow in the export area uh, but definitely that needs lot of other uh changes because our manufacturing units they need to be at par with the international standards our product quality has to be of that standard i mean today we don't have bioequivalence we don't have a number of these are probably technical terms but people who are from pharma industry i know they can understand that very well uh so this industry has the potential the growth is definitely uh very attractive for anyone who looks at it the dollar negative growth should not discourage anyone because this is a one time <coughs> phenomena uh next year when the rupee uh, remains stable or recovers we may see a better performance in fact we used to see positive growth in dollar also But only this year the dollar growth because of devaluation has gone down the top 50 corporates have 90% share in pakistan the number of companies are more than 500 jo hum report kar rahe hain iqvia has got an audit which is called the retail audit which covers all the pharma companies who are present in pakistan and uh, this is at the retail level and when i talk about uh, the biggest company is gsk or gets at the national level तो हम रिटेल मार्केट की बात कर रहे हैं उस रिटेल मार्केट में अगर हम देखते हैं तो जो टॉप 50 कंपनीज हैं दे हैव गॉट 90 परसेंट शेयर एंड आउट ऑफ दिस 50, ओनली आई थिंक 10 कंपनीज आर मल्टीनेशनल नाउ ओनली 10, द रेस्ट आर ऑल डोमेस्टिक कंपनीज दे हैव बीन मर्जर्स ऑफ मल्टीनेशनल दे हैव बीन मल्टीनेशनल लिविंग पाकिस्तान अगेन बिकॉज ऑफ Uh, the uh, environment in pakistan in for multinational uh, companies who were not provided the uh, i would say uh, the business environment they wanted to which include patent respect right pricing and uh, uh, practices that should have been probably on the ethical side we have seen activities uh, in the pharma industry which have uh, Uh, which have been growing the business but for anyone who is an outsider it may not sound uh, activities which are very ethical so these have been the real facts that i am talking about i am not pointing fingers towards anyone but there is a room for improvement in the pharma industry and, and the industry has realized and things have improved over the years and uh, hopefully in the next coming years i think we will see more uh, sophistication more transparency in this industry also the top 100 corporates they have got 97% share so if it is 97% share of the top 100 corporates and there are 600 companies so you can see how many mushroom companies are there jo bahut hi minute sa share leke baithe hue hain they are spoiling the broth they have got products which are of quality which is questionable they have got plants which are not at all at par with the international standards uh they are they are practicing uh, in such a way their practices are a question mark the big companies pharma companies nationals and multinationals i think now they have grown to such a level that they look towards uh, ethical ways of promoting their products they look towards investing in their plants investing in quality and they have got the results the top 50 corporates having a big share the top 100 having 97% share 
but the smaller companies i think we there is a need to uh, cut them down when we look talk about the different segments something i would like to tell you uh, in pakistan the biggest segment in the pharma industry is anti infective antibiotics 21% of all the uh, the sales in the retail area are from antibiotics 21 which is the highest in the world duniya mein kahin bhi itni antibiotic nahi bikti hai uh uska what is the effect of that antibiotic you will say ki because we are living in an environment jahan par uh, sepsis hai jahan infection hai ab corona virus aa gaya hai bahut sari cheeze hai i agree with you lekin bahut sari cheeze aisi hai practices jo ke doctors they are obliging uh which is uh, again causing what causing multi drug resistance anti microbial resistance uh, this is something that has also to be considered antibiotic resistance is uh, developing fast in our country europe wagera mein the antibiotic ka jo share hai wo only 4 to 5% hota hai not more than that even in india and bangladesh the share is around 15 16% we are 21% and still we are getting new antibiotics being registered and being launched which is crazy in fact i would say it's crazy because we are working with aga khan university hospital and with the london school of tropical diseases to see how we can prevent antimicrobial resistance it needs a multi pronged approach approach from doctors from pharma industry from draft <coughs> from acuvia in fact i will just share one thing with you that we have got data of all the last 20 25 years of every drug being sold in pakistan v acuvia which includes anti infective when we look at the anti infective the way they have grown whether it's quinolones or it is cefalosporin or penicillins and we also look at the uh, test of culture and sensitivity being done by aga khan of chuktai lab anyone in fact we are working with aga khan so we know the aga khan uh, uh, results the trend is the same jis tarike se quinolone bade hain और उनका यूज बढ़ा है उसी तरीके से रेजिस्टेंस भी बढ़ा है क्वेश्चन मार्क इसलिए कि वी आल्सो हैव फ्रॉम आवर प्लेटफॉर्म प्रेस्क्रिप्शन इन पाकिस्तान एंड व्हेन वी लुक एट प्रेस्क्रिप्शन बहुत सारे प्रेस्क्रिप्शन ऐसे हैं जिसमें एंटीबायोटिक की यूजेज वगैरह जो है वो क्वेश्चन मार्क हो जाती है